Hello guys, welcome back again to the Math Appetite with Sir M. Um, this time we are going to discuss on the application of the percents. Okay, let us try this formula about the uh, problem on interest. Mr. Santos borrowed 18,000 pesos at 1.5% interest for one year. What was the total amount he paid for one year term? So given, so the principal amount which is 18,000, the rate is 1.5% one, 1 and the time is one year. So what is as is the interest? And and the amount due so we will first uh, solve the interest in order to find the amount due okay so from the formula interest is equal to per principal times rate and time so substitute principal amount is 18,000 times 1.5 percent times 1 so change first the percent into decimal by moving two decimal places to the left okay so that is 18,000 times 0 and 15 thousandths times 1 and equivalent is interest is equal to 270 so to find the amount due in one year term uh, amount due is equal to the principal amount plus the interest so substitute 18,000 is the principal plus the interest 270 so the amount due is 18,270 so Mr. Santos will pay with the amount due of 18,270 pesos for one year term let us try this example of problem about the commission okay mr gomez sells used cell phones his commission for every cell phone sold is 20 percent if his total sales is thirty three thousand eight hundred fifty pesos how much is his commission so from this problem the given is commission rate 20 percent and the total sales is equal to 33,850 so what is asked is the commission so taken from our formula so commission is equal to the total sales multiplied by the commission rate so 20 percent times 33,850 so we cannot multiply 20 percent because it is in the percent so we will change first them into decimal by moving two decimal places to the left and that is 0 0.2 times 33,850 so the result is commission is equal to 6,770 so Mr. Gomez commission is amounting to 6,770 pesos let's try this example on um, problem of sales tax the sales tax on a 10,800 pesos appliance is 1,620 pesos what is the rate of the sales tax so given so sales tax is equal to 1,620 pesos and the total amount of product is 10,800 pesos so our unknown is the rate of the sales tax so to find the rate of sales tax so you go here is the formula so rate of sales tax is equal to sales tax divided by the total amount of products times 100 so substitute 1620 for the sales tax divided by total amount of product which is 10800 times 100 okay so that is 
0 0.15 or 1500 times 100 so the rate of sales tax is equal to 15 percent so we we express them in percent because it is about rate so the rate of sales tax of the appliance is 15 percent